Hi there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today I'm going to show you how to make adjustments to the header in your mobile site. Now, the header is a really important part of your mobile site because since it's a smaller screen and it can show less content at once, what they see when they first pull up your site is really important to sort of draw them in and make it really easy for them to find what they're wanting to find. So you, of course, want to have a business name or logo. You want to have your navigation menu. But I would recommend having icons like this for people to contact you. So you would add the icons. It's under elements. And you can click and type in icons in the search bar. And then you can choose the icon you want to use. You can search for a specific type to narrow it down, because there are a lot. Um, and then once you've got the icon you want to use and you place it, you can click on this icon and you can link a phone number or you can link an email. That way when people click on this icon, it's going to bring up a screen that either has an email ready to be composed with your email address in the to section or it's going to pull up your phone number and they just have to click call. So it makes it really, really easy for your page visitors to get in contact with you, which is typically the point of having a website. You want people to be able to see what you're about and get in touch with you about your business. Um, so the email option will work on desktop and mobile. The phone option is only going to work on desktop if they have an application like Skype set up where they can make calls from their computer. Otherwise, that'll just be a mobile option. And then the navigation menu. This three-lined menu is very common these days. Most people do know what those are. And you click on it to pull up a bigger menu. And it just makes it easier for your customers to see and click on your pages. So I really do recommend keeping this type of menu on your mobile. But if for some reason you absolutely do not like this way, you can change it by clicking on advanced and then choosing a different type of menu. I only recommend doing this if you have very few pages, like I have three, and that's probably the max that I would do um, because if you have more than that, it's going to be really difficult for customers to click on the page that they're meaning to click on. So it just creates a better customer experience. If you have more than three pages, I would definitely recommend sticking with the menu button. Ultimately, it is your site, though, so just look around the builder and see what works best for you.